guys, this is Cheryl from Cheryl's Window, and I wanted to show you a quick video today showing you this cute little mini album that I created. I made this for a posting that's on my blog. You can find all the details of how I put this little mini album together on my blog at Cheryl'sWindow.blogspot.com. You can also find it, because I double posted today, and posted it with Pam over at The Bug Bites. So make sure you check out her blog too, and that's thebugbites.blogspot.com. So this was done using Cricut Sentimentals cartridge, and I used the envelopes that have a coordinating lining to them, and just cut out different envelopes. I'll show you one of the envelopes here so that you can get a better idea. This is the envelope, but I didn't fold down the flap, and you can see the liner that is inside here. You can see the liner that's attached, that's the coordinated liner. And then I put these little cards inside some of them. I also put little um, just squares that were the same size as the envelope base and did some different decorating corner punches on here. So let me just show you the whole album really quick. This is the cover that I made and I put a frame that was on the Sentimentals cartridge. I put this frame together and added the little swirl that was on it all so I welded it together and then put different layers. And I used pop dots to put this top layer on the frame so that you can slide a picture down in front for your cover or if you wanted to put some more journaling or a title or something like that you can still just slide it in right through the top. So I don't know, you can't really see that but you can see better details on it on my blog. So that is the cover. So here's one page, and like I mentioned, I put these little tabs inside. Now I thought about using little tags that, were, that are also on the cartridge, but I just liked this idea better. And what I did was I punched out a paper, or I cut a paper, and this cut file is on my blog, also on Pam's. And after cutting it out, I put little um, cardstock chipboard border pieces that you can get, and I cut it to match and put it on both sides. And that acts as a decorative border and it also acts as a stop for your little tags that you put inside. So, and then here's one of the basic plain pages that just I cut out double sided and made the pages match, added some embellishments to it. Now the paper line that I used was from My Mind's Eye, the sundress collection. So the paper and all the um, chipboard and little journaling embellishments was from that collection and then I added my own from various little things that I have. So here's another envelope and this tag comes out as well. So just slides right back down in there. And aren't these little bloomers just so cute, I love them. So another little envelope. And then I put, I would do like an envelope and then a page and then an envelope, here's the front side, back side, another envelope and then a page. So that's the way I did throughout the whole thing. So this is just a little folder. You can flip this open and put some more journaling in here. That's my idea is to put some extra journaling in there, but you could easily put two pictures in here. And I left these kind of blanks so that you can add your own pictures or, cause I don't know which one, what I want to really do with this yet. Or I'm thinking about giving it away as a gift for a birthday that's coming up for one of my friends. So, and you don't know who it is cause I have a few friends whose birthdays coming up. So I didn't give anything away. Here's another one and this time I cut the tag out of the cardstock paper. Now this was glittered cardstock paper. So everything, the things that I use, the chipboard stickers, I still had to add extra adhesive to them because on this really beautiful chipboard paper, sometimes it doesn't want to stick as well. So I did use a little bit more glue and adhesive. And I found out that rub-ons go beautifully on the glitter paper. And I'd never tried it for some reason before putting rub-ons on that really heavy glittered paper. Also, just another tip, I'm sure many of you know this, but just in case, you never know if somebody doesn't. The chipboard pieces, I overhung them a little bit from the borders, and so on the back, I just sprinkled a little cornstarch and rubbed it in so that this part here is no longer sticky, so only the part that I wanted was sticky, and that works real well. And a great find, one of my Tupperware friends gave me this cute mini little salt and pepper like camping container. I'm not even really sure what it is, just a little bit of salt and pepper container. And this is what I have my cornstarch in. And so I can just dump it out and sprinkle it on something. And this packs up really nice and easy or fits in my little organizer and stays out of the way. So that's what I use to take stickies off my stickers and 
chipboard stickers, that type of thing. So another page. On this side, again, I just double layered them. So just glued them together with whatever type of adhesive you want to use. But this piece of here, this cardstock was a coordinations. And I reversed embossed it, so I guess that's debossing with some cuddle bug strips on the top and the bottom. And then I embossed some little lines using the uh, Martha Stewart scoreboard and then sanded it a little bit to show, make the orange show through a little bit more and then put a rub on them. So that was really cute. Here is another envelope and just fold up some lace. Have an envelope. I have a tag inside another one of those stipboard stickers. Um, chipboard stickers <laughs> and then I had this really great layered flower but I didn't want the whole flower on top of this I wanted it to show through on both sides so I did again showed more detailed pictures of this on my blog but I slid the two layers so that the piece of the envelope is actually fitting between the two layers so you've got one little layer of the flower on top here and then one on the back then I added another coordinating chipboard and then put some micro beads on top so that's another one um here i added a file this was a file that i cut this was a card and i welded two cards together overlapping the center section so that i could have this fold out area that you can add more pictures to or journaling or whatever you want and then i'm just keeping it clipped shut because when you're moving it around it, it wants to slide all over the place and just flop open so I'm sure you can find something another little envelope cute little tag that I put inside and page separator just a blank page and then the last one is another envelope put some more rub-ons a little border and that is it so that's cute little mini album awfully chunky so it's lots of fun and you can do this yourself if you will visit my blog on cherylswindow.blogspot.com or the bug bites at thebugbites.blogspot.com and you can download the gypsy file there and cut this out and make it yourself. And you can adjust it if you need to to make, the, make it smaller or bigger or add more pages or add more of the envelopes. They're each one done a little bit different on here. And there you go. So hope you enjoyed it and hope you have a great day. So thanks for stopping by and visiting today, and we'll see you later. Bye.